For tonight's challenge, these are your teammates. Mr. Carnes, please oh, come stand next what? to me. As winner of the last challenge, you can choose your partner first. Who's it going to be? JCO. <laughs> I feel like JCO and I are the two best DJs in this competition. We put us together and we're like the dream team. We should be able to beat any two DJs they throw at us. So we leave the stage and we go out in groups in the garden to strategize about our sets. Maybe you mix in the tracks yeah. and I'll mix them out. And there should definitely be a point where I jump up on your shoulders and I'm gonna scratch with my foot. <laughs> Of course, Chris Carnes picks JCO. Those guys are disgusting. One's a DMC champion, the other's like every other kind of champion. <laughs> Throughout the course of this competition, me and Chris had become friends, but there's $250,000 on the line, and we're also each other's biggest rivals. Time to get down to business, boy. Let's get back in the Let's studio and bust this out. All right, from the top. <laughs> All right, let's, let's move on. This competition isn't built around synchronized fist pumps. This is master of the mix. It's about mixing and what you're doing on the turntables. This is real DJs, and we're not playing. I mean, I could bring in Snooki from Jersey Shore if you want a fist pump. <laughs> First up, Chris Carnes and DJ JCO. <laughs> We both tour with artists, and we're used to being in front of crowds of, you know, thousands of people and having to deliver a perfect set. But this one, we got to practice it once. so talented, you know what I mean? It's, a, it's really cool just to watch people that are supposed to be DJs, DJing. I mean, it's one of my favorite records of all time. What a great way to finish it. Judges! Yo, that, that was very, very entertaining, very clean. You look like y'all was having fun, and uh, no flaws at all, man. I thought it was, in, I thought it was just remarkable, man. So ben? Amazing job, as usual, from the both of you. Facts with the cue points were clean. Amazing at the end, dubstep influence track. So you got bonus points for that, for me at least. And uh, just loved it overall. Amazing job, guys. Considering that they weren't born together like us guys, they seem to work naturally. <laughs> Each of them seemed to be itching to get back on the turntables. I thought it worked really well. Obviously, the guys have got some kind of rapport. So hats off to you guys. Oh, well done. Great. Thank you. Mia, 
Uh, I think that's the best show I've seen from Electric Zoo, Coachella, Ultra, Electric Daisy Carnival. Like, yeah, so good. I thought that Chris Carnes and JCO were the best. I feel the same way. I feel like Chris had the advantage. He won last week. He got to choose his partner. Yeah. Chris was smart with the choices he made. Of course, he picked the two most technically gifted DJs. He picked his perfect partner, and he, he did great to kind of mismatch the other people. So I think they were all already at a disadvantage. Chris, you got to choose the teams today. Why did you pair Fly Guy with Dynamics and Tina T with Brian Daw? I was trying to not pair up the most technical DJs together, not create another team that would be strong enough to take down me and JCO. Interesting. Well, tonight, the judges truly struggled with having to cut two DJs. Chris Carnes, DJ JCO, DJ Incrediboy, and DJ Loxy. The four of you are still in the mix. And we have a tie for first place. So the four of you will be receiving Monster DNA headphones. Congratulations. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> a lot of difficult decisions were made here tonight, but had to be done. That's how it goes down right here at Master of the Mix. See you next time from Miami.